Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Tim Tim with me, Jalanon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. Today, we're probably going to go talk to people up in the city proper this time. We did get size much at the end, very recently. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to see what we see, do what we do, save the Tim Tim, and maybe pick up a new crew. Hmm. Nah, we don't need to go to the airship yet. I still don't know if I need to get uh, that comic book signed or not. So I guess we find out. Hello? Isn't he the best boy? The bestest boy? That's right. Now, now, don't get too excited, Zerbo. Settle down. So Ampling must become Zerbo. Hmm. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Uh, is that Katakana? No, it looks a little bit different. Hmm. Hmm. But it's similar enough that it makes me think, is that saying like... Uh, I can't read the top. Okay. But some of them look like the M-E sound, like meh. And maybe there was a Ka and a Ra in there somewhere. Okay, well, no comic books in here. Hmm, what is that maybe saying? They... They, uh... I don't know. Anyway. They are them? That can't be right. Read by someone, this Tim Tim is useful for something. Do you ever wonder who writes for the Timpedia? That little description you mean? Yeah, those bits you get in your Timpedia. You're a tamer too, right? Think about it. Thousands of tamers read that on the daily. Whose job is it to write that? <laughs> okay. Wow, writers. You, you really either want to flatter yourselves or slap yourselves, which is kind of sad. You think so? <laughs> Disregard that. I'm a dummy. <laughs> well, what? I don't know who or what made me say that. Uh oh That's right. Do not anger the developers. Uh, is that saying... Futo... I I'm not sure. All right, all right. I'm gonna stop. It's messing with my brain. Hmm. What about you? Oh, there's a quest beneath me, I see. Okay. I guess I literally found it beneath me. The fridge is empty again. I swear one day I'll catch them. Ooh. Those pesky dudes from that downstairs co-working thing. Sometimes they sneak in and eat my snacks. Okay, that's literally breaking and entering and robbing, it seems like. Yeah, seems like you have a right to complain. What? Look at those views. I love this city. It's so cutting edge. Very different from Omnimnesia, right? Oh, totally. You've been to the Morales Inn? Yeah, it's so modern. The elevators, the crystal walks. Not a thing like home. I love Mokupuni, but it's so traditional. So set in its ways. I suppose it's normal for the Sapanki, but to me it's so exotic and new. Maybe one day all the cities in the archipelago will be like Neo Edo. But for now, it's quite surprising, don't you think? Enjoy your visit. Thanks, you do the same, friend. Okay, is this a teleport pad? It is. Am I a clone? Am I a copy? Am I really Jalanon? There's this whole debate in Star Trek that the teleporters actually just, you know, they kill somebody and then restructure their atoms. Or whatnot, so it's not really them. Also, that looks like Sakura from Naruto. Isn't it Hirano Sakura? I forget. Have you heard? Vicesia is starring in a new movie about the War of Kisua. Way cool. Can't wait for the premiere. Yeah, the ancient war, not the cool new one. Lost opportunities, I say. Ah, well, they had to have a script and everything. I'm sorry, friend, I can't speak right now. I'm trying to convince the audience to. Wait, what's that insignia? With the Congress? I'm Jelena, congressional agent. I'm never shaken, but I am stirred. By the powerful feelings of destroying Belsotos. By the Panzer. You're just the one I need. Will you speak to them, please? It doesn't have to be a great speech, just something to convince them to join the Congress against Clan Belsoto. Oh, it's not another tourist group? Man. Uh... No, that sounds like politics. Sure, fight the good fight. How should I address them? Hmm, I don't know, I guess. First, make sure they all feel included. Some have come from very far away. I know they want to hear what happened in Kitsua, really, and how they can help. Focus on the positive. Okay. Are you ready? They're in a volatile mood, Jelena. You won't have a second chance if you blow it. I'm ready. boy. I probably should talk to everybody first. Oh well. Dear audience, I give you Jelena, special agent of the Archipelagic Congress and a veteran of the Battle of Uhuru. Ignore the tension in my eyes. Citizens of Neo Edo or Sapanku? Let's go with Sapanku. Well, apparently not everybody's from Sapanku here, right? So, Neo Edo? I'm from Yako. We don't count them. 
Let me tell you what happened in Kisiwa. The Kisiwa resistance was against the wall, with a Vumbi garrison isolated and under constant attack from through the tunnel. So I was sent to scout west through the... Wasn't it the Gino Gap? Definitely wasn't the Glacier. Definitely wasn't Matopi Road. I managed to join the resistance forces at Upinzani, and from there we launched the final blow. Operation Tusk. We infiltrated the great city of Uhuru, and there we had the final battle against... General X. And what lessons can we learn from Kisiwa, Congressional Agent? We all need to work together. So what can we do? Support the Congress. Join your local dojo. Take a nap, you lousy cook. Support the Congress. Even if you're not a tamer, you can still support the Archipelagic Congress. We need everyone to work together, to leave their differences aside and unite against Clan Belsotto. Win together or be defeated alone. Hmm. I guess he has a point, even though he said the wrong thing in the first section. Maybe I should join the dojo. Well, that was it. Thanks for coming, everyone. That was a good speech, gentlemen. Considering you were improvising and all that. Quite good, yes. Please accept this as a thank you. Hey, money. That's real politics right there, I guess. Wow. Feels kind of bad. Safe travels, Congressional Agent. Long live the Archipelagian Congress. But, I mean, everybody does need to be able to afford food. And life. So, I mean, if it's a job, it makes sense. But it feels like I was just bribed there. <laughs> that doesn't feel like a normal job. Okay. Well, anyway. Probably would have said all that without the money. Hmm. Pay no heed to that dummy. Tea is better than that smelly black brew he takes. With milk! <gasps> okay. Who Who is this coffee lover? The bean juice person. Bean juice or leaf juice? What is your poison? Hmm. Apparently, they think drinking enough tea in Britain might be causing kidney stones to some degree. Or at least I knew a paramedic who'd had kidney stones multiple times. He seemed somewhat convinced that tea was part of the problem. I don't think he ever gave it up, though. <laughs> oh, coward. Don't tell me you're one of those chatty Denise and tamers that go around talking to everyone. I mean, maybe. Not in real life. <laughs> My stars, the things one hears these days. Okay. And now she claims her fridge just up and disappeared. Really? She's still telling that story? Uh, must be a yokai. Wait, what? What, what have I done? <gasps> it's an elevator. Okay, I wasn't sure. No, no, please. Whatever it is. I'm trying to be done with unpacking today. Need a hand? I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Can't find the TV remote, or my laptop, or my phone? This is a mess. Okay. Have you found my things? It's always the last place you look. Uh, okay. Apparently I have to look here. A bunch of clothes. What's this under the t-shirts? A TV remote? What a place to put. Uh, of course it won't have batteries. Okay. At least they have these <laughs> question marks to help us. And here's his phone right under his nose. This guy. Okay. Definitely needs help. Very predictably, his laptop is just here. Okay, I found all of Ibrahima's stuff. I'll tell him. You found them? Here they are. Oh, by the pants and where were they hiding? Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, now I remember what it was. Did you find that manga, Volume 3 of Teray's Revenge? Uh, no. Want me to look again? Yeah, no, I don't think it's here. I went to that guy upstairs. I can't remember his name. It seemed the friendly thing to do, but could you go get it back for me, please? It's sort of awkward, you know? Uh, cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We'll go upstairs. To floor three. I want an apartment on the ground floor, but this is all they had left. Normally it's fine, but that time the elevator broke, it was not amusing. Do I know you? Here for Ibrahima's manga. Oh, so soon. Uh, okay, it should be there. I mean, around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Nobody keeps track of their stuff. Not here. Okay, so it must be... No? On the bed itself? Over here? I don't think it's here. I'd rather not touch this dude's stuff too much. Oh, okay. So it's... I have to search even though I know it's not there, huh? Lame. I'm not looking forward to having a housemate. And that manga is nowhere to be seen. Ibrahima's manga is definitely not here. Time to bother that Malote dude. So you didn't find it? Uh, I was thinking. I threw a party last night and I think... Well, memory's a little hazy, but I think someone asked me if they could borrow that volume? Who? Thing is, uh, I'm not really sure who it was. How do I find it, then? It was a girl. Like, she was talking about this anime for an uh, ages. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, words. I didn't ask her her name. Maybe I did, but I have a bad memory. You know, good for faces, bad for names. Anyway, she's a local, lives in the neighborhood. Just ask around, yeah? Do I have a choice? Yeah, no need to harsh my mellow, buddy. Okay, do I need to talk to you again? I know it's not cool. 
Okay. Well, we know she likes anime. Ami me. Uh, wait. What does that do? Prankster, ring the bell on any elevator? Oh. Well, I, I did that by accident, but okay. I thought it would just let me get out of the elevator. Okay, what did I get? Dingling bell. Uh, I guess I'm a dingling. Okay. Well, I thought maybe there would be an exit door, but apparently not. It's like a skyscraper. So somewhere in this neighborhood is someone who likes anime. Good taste. Solidarity with Kisiwa. Okay. But as we all know, not all anime are worthy of praise. Get a load of this, Tim Cards, but it's a ball. Uh, makes sense. I know, right? That's my million pants and idea. One day I'll be rich. I mean, cards are probably harder to throw than spheres. Are you that special congressional agent we were told about? That's me. That's, yes. Nice to meet you. Everyone here has been horrified to hear the news from Kisiwa over the past few days, but opinions are more divided on the topic of that archipelagic congress. I was hoping to discuss it with you. We need to unite against Clan Balsoto. That we can agree on. We're not arborians, after all. But is the congress the best framework for that? Uh, it's... what else would you suggest? For starters, something more representative of the population of the archipelago. Who appointed the dojo masters to represent the islands? And some islands are represented by even less suitable individuals. Hmm. It was an improvised thing. There was slash is a war going on. That's the common wisdom, yes. And I'm glad we at least have the Congress to coordinate the efforts against the Bell Soto. But moving forward, we need to consider how the Congress works and how much power it wields. And who does it answer to? Valid questions. I think so, yes. Well, thank you for listening. I was a little concerned you would be defensive of the Congress, seeing as you are a special agent of it. But I'm glad to see we're all being critical and constructive. Things seem to be escalating, as we pour more resources and people into the Congress to fight the Bell Soto. Determining what the Congress actually is becomes increasingly urgent, before it becomes a behemoth with only the large army of veteran tamers at its beck and call. One that follows the orders of a clique of unelected dojo masters. Once the clan is gone, we might very well face another threat. Hmm. As long as I'm a special agent. Please, do take this seriously, Jana. Thank you for the chat. I hope to see you soon when all this is over. I mean, very good points. Also, hopefully, I kind of figured since the dojo masters were the strongest tamers, well, that doesn't mean they're good leaders. Hmm. Hmm. Hot take. Coffee is better than tea. I thought you said punky like tea better. Well, we're not a monolithic entity, you know. We're human. <laughs> Knock yourself out, based. Are you a relative of Kamal by any chance? And why would you do that? Remind me of my ex. Ah. Okay, we have found Kamal's ex, apparently. Hmm. So this is the government building. Do you have a quest for me? I can has quest. Welcome to your citizen data office. How can I help you today? Oh, I can change name, pronouns. Hmm. Okay. I would like to be called Catman. Welcome to the Tim Tim Registration Bureau. First off, what Tim Tim are you here about today? A uh, size munch, I guess. You can see here that you're the original tamer of this Tim Tim. Uh. Oh, you can change their names for money. Wait, you think about it. Why would I do that when I want money to make my Tim stronger at the moment, though? Hmm. Maybe later, if I become a millionaire or something. An extremely busy citizen. Please use the side desk for any name and pronoun changes. Uh, I'll let you work then. Thank you. Next. Interesting that they have this. Hmm. Lullaby. <laughs> no. Oh, no, that's not a terrible name, though. You're named after a Tim Tim. I'm finally getting rid of this stupid name. What are you changing it to? I'm thinking Max. It's nice, simple, and gender neutral. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Uh, happy for you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. I'm just here to support my kid. I finally did it. It feels self liberating. I'm so happy for you, son. I know this was a big step for you. Hey, Dad, so thank you for being here for me. Uh. Is this a reference to. I'm trying to think. Wasn't there a musical or something? No. No, I'm thinking of like you're having Hanson or something. No, that was what appeared to be someone. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, anyway. Have you heard? There was this gigantic Tim Tim flying over Awaba just a few hours ago. Hmm. No, really. Yes, it's like something out of one of those movies. I always knew that someone at Nanto Labs would eventually create some crazy giant robot. That was probably the Tolobos. That's one way to see it. Yes, I'll be prepared for when the giant digital comb. I've been training hard at the dojo. Together we'll fight them and save the archipelago. 
I mean, training is good. Neo Edo Palace. Okay. But yeah, it seemed like that Elliot was born female or something. Yeah. Yeah. Congressional Agent Jella. If we knew you were visiting, we'd have reserved the special suite for you. Hmm. I'm staying out to laughs. No doubt enjoying the hospitality of Dr. Cecilia herself. It's a relief. Hospitality. Indeed. At a lab. I'm sure they won't stuff me in a beaker. Put a pillow in there. They should have stayed at that Rio con. This place is so cookie cutter. Uh. Who are you? Someone who was about to take a nap. Emphasis on was. Sorry. Um, okay. So I'm not staying at the hotel? Is there any reason for me to be here? Oof, and that was today's last service. With so many guests, it's like having to feed a small army. I ran out of ramen today. That is a tragedy. Hang in there. Oh, I have to. Someone has to fill all those hungry stomachs. It brings me pleasure to see them all sated and happy. Little satisfaction, Steve. Okay. Hmm. Well, I doubt I need to talk to anybody in here. It's not showing up. So that's why this one was more expensive than the twin room. And why the three beds? Nay, the website didn't say that. Last time I'd let you do the bookings, kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a feeling the kid wanted to jump across all three beds. Most likely. Considering the personalities of most of the people in this game so far. It's a suite, and it doesn't have an en-suite. I'm not even sure what that means, to be perfectly, you know, honest. Does that mean no bathroom? Hmm. Well then. Are we wasting time? Sort of, but not really. I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to get from the store. Was it silken tofu and lettuce or radish? Oh yes, it was radish. Wait, no. Why didn't I make a list? Oh, I can't remember. Now I gotta go back home again to check. Or, you can make a list. Izakaya 87. Wouldn't that be... Hachiju Nana? Is that a reference to something? Hmm. Takaki Dekur. If only I cared. Okay. Hmm. What's in here? This must be leading to one of our quests. Or a new quest. Say, we have this world where pancakes are the only currency, yes? That implies flour and sugar must be important commodities, and quasi-state entities would vie against each other for control of pancake-making facilities. Pancake chefs must be state-licensed and coveted. Our hero could be an apprentice pancaker, whose parents have been killed by a rival clan of crepe mongers. See how much the story writes itself when you get the world building, right? And now, maps! I'll let you do them maps. Maps, maps, maps. Probably the dev team, to some degree? Kikio? By the Panson, why is nobody clocking on feature work? It's not that hard, and I can't keep track of time like this. Uh, when we get the crystal bobsleigh back? Oh no, not that again. Ask Yar or Victor to use the forum, but not me, please. Good luck with the game. Yeah, okay, so they did kind of the, the Pokemon thing, where they sometimes have the developers in one of the big buildings. Interesting, interesting. Why am I... hmm. Okay, so something is still in this building for us, eh? All right then. Hello, Bark Bork. It's your turn to go get the sandwiches. What? Why? Where? Every day I randomize who goes and gets the sandwiches. It's your turn today. Sorry. The RNG gods have spoken. Get the sandwiches, please. RNG says, let my people go. Uh, hmm. Why don't you go? Because it's not my turn. In fact, it's never my turn. That's just how randomness works. Sorry. Uh, listen, I just wanted to ask you about the next game. It's in pre-production. Can't discuss it. And you have to get the sandwiches. It's your turn. Eh, so, see you later. No, it's a quest. Okay. Who are you? I'm the game director. Okay. I'm not even part of the staff. Get the sandwiches. Okay. Go to the izakaya and get sandwiches. Okay, so now we have a reason to go to the izakaya. Um... Sorry, I'm working. Okay. <laughs> Somebody, that must be the sound effect guy or something. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, at least they're having fun in here. What about over here? Wait. More questing? Coming from the lab, Special Agent. I'm afraid we have bad news about the shrine. Shrine? What shrine? The one in the cave right up ahead? It's a very ancient shrine dedicated to the Kami spirits that protect the island. Well, used to be. Not the hair spirits, mind you. 
because kami in Japanese is <laughs> hair, gods, and what else was it? There was like one other thing. Oh well. In any case, it's a place of great power. If only we could harness it after first repairing it, if that's the correct word. Hmm. Uh, what's the matter? We, I'm almost ashamed to admit it was our fault. We wanted to study the place of power to harness its properties for the development of better digital Tim Tim, but we made a mistake. We built some machinery in there, and everything should theoretically be working, but it just stopped. The power is gone. There's no scientific explanation for it, but a priest came by a few days ago and said the Kami were angry with us. They don't like us meddling with their shrine. Well, that's what the priest said. Can I help in some way? I don't know. To be honest, we're at a loss as to what happened. The only one who seems to have an inkling is uh, that priest, I suppose? If one accepts such non-scientific reasoning. Yeah, he probably has a digital Tim Tim that he used to mess up the place. Which I don't, naturally. <laughs> but we're running out of ideas, so perhaps you could go ask the priest. Okay, where? She's a hermit with a certain re reputation for being a bit out there, in every sense. They say she usually roams the pillars of high above. She had an argument with the big man of Miyako Village, so now she's a wandering pilgrim of sorts. Got it. Thank you. Okay, ooh. Full access to the experiment at the shrine. Is this the priestess? Still nothing, Jalanon. Not a single power spike in the readings. I'm starting to fear the shrine might never go back to normal. What have we done? What have we not done without power? Also a question. Hmm. Ooh. You look like an evil camera. <laughs> Everyone's greatest fear in this day and age. Okay, we're going to have to repeat the last endurance test. Sorry, I wasn't recording. Hey, you, are you a tamer by any chance? Wait, repeat an endurance test? That sounds terrible. Uh, yes, I am a tamer. Are you busy at the moment? My colleague Mariah needs someone who can help her with her fieldwork. Is she literally named Future? Hmm. Uh, okay, sure. She's trying to introduce new species to the rice fields, but between you and me, she's more of a lab denizen than a field researcher. Go see if she needs a hand, will you? Or I'll be working on this on my own for the rest of the month. Rice fields, you said? Yes, don't know where exactly. I guess she's looking for the perfect spot. But I have my reservations about introducing digital varieties to such a wet environment. To such a wet environment, the digital Tim Tim may uh, not be accustomed, eh? Ooh, you are now part of my Timpedia. I love my job. It's like being an all pair, but for baby Tims. Much better and cuter than human ones. Really? Really? I can never stand human toddlers, but these Timmies are my babies. Well, one more reason our population continues to decline, I suppose. Seeing the Tims here is making me want to hit the gym. Gotta burn some adrenaline. No, all right. So I think this is the lab, yeah? Yeah, that's not the labs. We can go to floor zero. Are you that investigator to send from Denise? I wasn't even here last night, officer, I swear. I don't know if I believe you. Please, I just work here. I want no part in no conspiracy. I just want to do my job in peace, go home to my husband and Tim's, and stay away from any trouble. That does make sense. Okay, so we're back here. Huh. Well, we can do a side quest and our main quest at the same time. Sort of. Oh, hi, you're new in town? I'm here for that comic book. Oh, you mean Malotes? Are you a friend of his? Nice to meet you. Okay, at least she's nice enough to know who's the original person. It's you. To raise revenge. Please thank Malote for me and tell him I really liked it. Oh, no, wait. That was the the very, shall we say, immature guy. Uh, actually, it's Ibrahimos. Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. Yup. If I can get through the door, there we go. Main quest. Um, is it below me or above me? That's the real question then. Wow, how do you pronounce this? Is this Polish? Azustalagius? Azustalagius? I am sorry for destroying the name. Take care, my friend. I hear those Belsotos are here disguised amongst us, lurking and trying to kidnap people. I've seen the magic flying castle. Huh, nobody recognizes me without my uniform. Uh, you work at Crema, the Temporium, or Nanta Labs? Work uniform. I'm guessing the Temporium, then. No, used to, but not anymore. It was one summer while I was saving for a trip to Denise. No, I'm the one that does the Onsen Shima mascot when it's the other guy's day off. It's a fun job, doesn't pay great, but hey, at least I get free visits to the Onsen. Cool. Worth it. Hmm. What about over here? Aha. Owly. Is that what can Barshi maybe become that? Probably not, right? It feels so weird to walk around. I wish I had my bike. <laughs> so that's a reference to 
a rather adult anime called Akira, which is, I think, kind of like a psychic thing. That guy, he had a motorcycle scene. Anyway. Sorry, visitor. We're in the middle of the rice harvest. Uh, why can't I go? It's harvest time, so only workers allowed until we're done collecting all the rice. Then it'll be open again. Sorry for the inconvenience. So I can't do that quest in the rice fields yet. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, where are you from? Denise. Oh, that place with the big sea? So you know how to surf? It's very cool. I've seen it on TV. One day you'll see for yourself. Yes, I'm going to travel all the islands and make friends with everyone. Yep. That sounds reasonable, maybe. Maybe not. Vinmet? Huh. Looks cool, but I couldn't quite see it. It looked like it had a forehead protector. Like Naruto? Hmm. Time to heal. Okay, and then... Even though we didn't really need to heal, I do see that question mark. And there you are again. Beth Panson, you sure are an inveterate traveler, gentlemen. Yep. Indeed. 450 slots total. I'm just taking a break from Tim Tim Timmy to brush up on my Ikebana. Flower arranging, I think, right? Hmm. Okay, is that a reference to another anime? <laughs> Kado Sensei. Wrong choice of flowers, my dear pupil. If they are for a gift, they should be just budding, not in full bloom. Okay. Do you have new stuff for me here? Ooh. Yes, you do. Weapons grade repellent? That seems... Oof. It's also very expensive. Hmm. Immense reduction. Okay, well, I don't know exactly what to think about that. Professional grade tin card used by Dojo Masters. We buy a lot of those. Okay. Bomb pluses, bomb plus pluses. So, wow, they don't even give me the normal bomb option anymore. I think it was 70 for 25 HP healed. This is 10 times as much, and it's a little over 250, right? So, if I'm right on the original price, this is more worth it. We'll do that. Ether plus. Also get some of those. Goodbye, money. <laughs> you were here, and now you're gone. Power revive. Okay, full revives just seem like the best. All healer. If only it was like an elixir, but it doesn't look like they have an elixir elixir thing. Or at least not a super tonic. Yet. Let's get a couple more of these. Oh, uh, not that many. A couple. As in two. Okay. In case we need it. Hmm. All right, so we need to get like above or below for our quest. Let's go finish some more stuff. Okay, was it here? Yes, it was. Oh, you're back with my mother? Buddy, you're a star. It was a pain. But this is kind of rude to say like that. You're very nice. Anyone told you that? Real good egg. I travel a lot because of my job, you know, and I never totally get used to the concept of packing and unpacking. But it doesn't get to me as much as it used to. My wife couldn't stand me. So you know what I do? I use this meditation technique. Oh, it's a technique course, huh? Have a minute, I can teach it to you. Refresh. Hmm, increases special attack and heals. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And when you open your eyes again, you just take a moment to settle down. Really refreshed, well, hey, glad it works for you too. My wife says it makes her even more nervous. Can't please everyone, I guess. True that. Also Bell. Yeah. Okay then, well that. Seems like it was worth it. I clicked the wrong thing. I should check my Tim Tim. Here we go. Who can learn the power of refresh? Apparently, not you. Do I want Haito Uchi? It does put people to sleep, but it is kind of slow. Hmm. Ninja Jutsu, on the other hand. It's pretty expensive. I think if I was going to move something, it'd probably be Tail Strike. Held angry, though. 160 for 16. Yeah, that makes the most sense if we're going for damage with that. If we're going for priority, Ninja Jutsu is a maybe. Hmm. Okay, 
I think we're happy with that. Can you learn refresh? No. Okay. Can you learn? No. <laughs> nope. Okay, well. Well, yeah, we tried. We tried, people. Okay. None of y'alls know how to meditate. Hey, okay. Unfortunate. Hmm. Probably be very nice on, like, Volarind. Since special attack goes down so often with Volarind's current trait. I've seen you before. Weren't you that Jalanon guy that Dojo Master Tani was speaking to, like, a few weeks ago? Yup. Well, respect, man. She runs a tight dojo. Fair but very demanding. I came all the way from Tanis to get myself some of those sweet digital Tims, and now it seems they're escaping those labs. Not what I was expecting. Hey, can you break this note down for me? I need a pan sun coin for the pool table. Sorry, man. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, come on. Hello. Oh, I recognize that insignia you're wearing. You're that congressional agent, yes? Here's the lemonade on the house. Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't mention it. We support Kisiwa and the Congress. Those Belsero need to be stopped in their tracks. What's going on in town? I mean, aside from the sightings of giant flying castles of Belsero Manhunt and Iwaba, and the Dojo Master calling all tamers to pretty much go on a war footing? Not much, I guess. Mental Labs makes most of the headlines, naturally. I keep hearing from the boffins that come to drink here that some of their cutting-edge prototypes keep vanishing like magic. Something's off. Other than that, it's harvest season. Once that's done, the priests sometimes come down to town to trade their handicrafts for whatever they can't make on their own before the winter. Okay. What about you? Hello, buddy. What's up? Just my usual. I travel from one place to the next, doing odd jobs and challenging Jojo Masters, beating them sometimes, all the while polishing my tamer skills. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Yeah, have you noticed how many people just give you odd jobs and requests for help as soon as you meet them? Makes you wonder what would happen if us wandering tamers just stayed home, you know? It's like being a knight errant of times of yore. Anyway, I think I'm going to have one last one. Okay, please don't ask me about the new digital models. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on with the labs? There's all this brouhaha about the prototypes disappearing. That's no secret, but you must already know. Aren't you that special agent? Tell me about the new digi... <sighs> Even if I wasn't under an NDA... Forget it. I'm under an NDA. Non-disclosure agreement. Thanks. See you later. Okay. I figured since I was the agent, it was worth asking. I love the fact that they have a nice little selection of books here. Nothing like relaxing with a good book and a mug of tea. I can agree with at least one of those statements. Yeah? How's the harvest going? It's going. One day it will be gone. Hopefully soon. Okay. Have a good one, Brent. All right. Um, You seem to have a quest for me. Hi. What can I get you? I'm here for the cream of sandwiches. Oh, they sent you this time? What happened to that girl? Anyway, yeah, here you are, the usual favorites. Hmm. I wonder if it will ever be Yaw's turn to pick up the sandwiches. Not with his system, no. Do -do 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 -do. Not with the Yaw system of RNG. Okay, so I think I go back up to here. And then do I deliver a sandwich? Probably. I believe, yeah. Okay. What will you give me for your sandwich, sir? The coders are starving. You don't want to see them when they're starving. Here are your sandwiches. Guys, food's here. Okay, now I can finish this list of features. Oops, clicked that too quickly. Yeah, you're right. That's what captains do when they're relaxing. They fish. There, in goes fishing. So far we have crafting, dating, mole customization, airship stunt competitions, and fishing, of course. So what's the game about? Depends. Do you mean the story or the mechanics? Both. I more or less know what you will do in the game. It's an airship sim, after all. The problem is we still haven't figured out why or where. That's Professor Victor's job. He's a narrative guy. Can you go poke him, see if he has something? I suppose I can. Okay. Factory? Mm, not now. Are you the writer? But you can call me the lore master. Yeah, you sound like the writer. Ha, huh, guilty as charged. Your honor. What's up, then? We need the narrative now! Oh no, don't tell me we're out of pre-pro so soon. Down below, take me. I was still polishing some aspects of the general world building. Pre-production. Forget that. And I still haven't figured out even the sketchiest idea about the general macro and economic environment of our in-game world. Um, uh, are you sure the game needs that level of detail? Probably doesn't. I do. Anyway. Hmm. Okay, here's the pitch. In this game universe, people live on islands floating on water instead of in the air. And all those islands are on the surface of a massive ball instead of an archipelago. Okay, all sounds good to me. So far, so good. Okay, so what does this setting suggest or need? Fishing. Because of the big oceans? Yeah, I guess. I think Yaw was already considering some mechanics for fishing, so this will tie in nicely. What else? Themes of friendship? Always a good idea. And a spherical world would probably be very interconnected, so the player should have friends from different cultures. 
See, here we're subtly making a statement about the real world and how the islands interact in our archipelago. Good stuff. I just need to develop those concepts a little bit more, create some lore, and then the most important bit, draw some maps. Maps like these? Yes, look, that's my first rough idea for the first continent. It looks interesting. I know, right? Wait, does y'all want this for today? Done is better than perfect, buddy. Story of my life. Oof. Come on, Vic, think of something. Something fast. This needs to be delivered today. Download, take me. Now I'm too blocked to think of anything else. Tim Tim up. No, come on, I don't have the time now to... Well, come to think of it, we can just... Yeah, sure. I need to switch off my inner critic. Let's run outside for a second and Tim Tim up. Might be just the thing I need. That's right. Letting creatures battle for our entertainment is apparently uh, conducive to writing books and game development. Yeah, I'm not sure I buy it either. However, we are fierce. We are striking. Boom. Okay. Very good, very good. Yes, the resistance badge war drum combo. Seems to be working. The water blade does hurt my size much now that it has an earth typing. Hmm. Barchi, uh-oh. That, uh, that's bad news, bears. Hmm. I think I just switched both of you guys out. To Kazuma and Scarable. Okay. Hopefully, the water attack would be targeting Kazuma. That is my hope. It probably will not come to fruition. Hmm. Yeah. No! I guess I switched in where Size Munch was. Curses. Okay. On well, the bright side, it didn't do that much damage. They're not very high level. Electric Storm. DC Beam. Hilarious. Okay. Should I have gone for the piranha yet? Yes. Was it funny? Also, yes. Also unnecessary. Yay! Victory is within the grasp of my Tim Tim Team Team. Grandpa, get ready. Tell us a story, Grandpa. What was it like during the war in Kisiwa? Okay. Boom. And now, victory. Now you see why I'm a writer and not a tamer. Fair. Well, that was refreshing, and it confirms my thoughts that I should keep Tim Tim fighting as a hobby. <laughs> right, I'll have a coffee or ten and get back to work. So much to write. You can tell y'all he'll have that whole lot by EOD. With maps, even. EOD. Every other day is what I think of from healthcare work stuff I've done. But, uh, early on development? No, I can't be. Hmm. I don't know. We will tell y'all this. Anything from narrative? Working on the wrong world pitch? About time. Okay, we have the airship sim mechanics more or less designed. Time to go into full production. I guess you are a new producer, then. We need to get the art and coding departments working on the new project right away. Symbol of authority. A fake beard. <laughs> it's Tim Tim here. This lustrous beard makes the Tim Tim feel so confident. When entering the battlefield, gets invigorated for two turns. Now get the team started. I'll work on the enemy balancing meanwhile. We have a fake beard? Naturally. I'm not going to cut mine off. We don't have time for you to grow one. Now let's get started. And then I have to talk to these people? I'll check it out, Devonio. But I need that tool. Blasted duality. I said I'll check it. I needed the tool yesterday. Well, Marcos was working on it. Well, I'm still waiting for it. Hey, 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 don't drag me into your newlywed arguments, you two. All I'm saying is I need that tool for the... And you? Are you that Jalanon, the new producer? Am I now? You tell me. Either that or you came for another tool. Hey, get in line. I asked first. As long as I don't have to debug that thing again. Hey, guys. Are we adding the stickers to the game or what? I've been waiting for two years now and... Guys, guys, calm down, Jalanon, you were saying? Can I help with anything? Oh, don't worry, they're always like that. Mm-hmm. Settings again. 
Find the duality notes should be downstairs. Ah, uh, yes. Boop. Hmm. Are they hiding? They are hiding like the stickers. Annotated technical instructions on duality settings. Okay. I think I clicked the wrong level. But oh well. Still have stuff to do here. <sighs> We're waiting for code to send us a build. Okay. So you need stuff later. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks all day, every day. You also need stuff later. Hmm. I have to admit, I don't really like all this fetch questing. Found them. Right, give this guy a hand before he goes crazy. Er. Very funny. Okay, Jalan, what's the setups for step then? I should have read that more carefully. Go to setup commands. And now. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Unassign. What? Textures? Alright, should work now. Uh prod QA. Still not working. Let's try again. Uh, let's just skip it, see if it'll let me go click on the item. It didn't seem to want to let me look at that more easily. Okay, duality notes. Okay, configuration directives. Unpogrify textures. Dev external server. I'm just going to write that down. <laughs> okay. Config direct unpog textures dev ext server and this kids is why programming is indeed still a job a three letter word not even a four letter word okay found them oh. okay I think I clicked the correct thing by accident unpogrify textures and then we should be using dev external server. I'll check that. This is like that time Victor managed to destroy Gat with two clicks. Well, the last 35 times. It works now. Thanks, Jalan. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Seriously, can someone turn the lights off, please? Hey, producer, when are we implementing those stickers? Okay. A nice Tim Tim for rubber Timmin? For what? We have a rubber Tim Tim here by the desk. Ah. Okay. Explain to the fake Tim Tim. Sarah T hoards them. Anyway. An Ori. Huh. I'll be back when I find it. Or now to find an Ori. Hmm. Is it over here? Where else would it be? Hmm. So I need to find that. Is it in the factory, maybe? Seems likely, and yet, I do not see it. Okay, let's go back to the studio level one. Just double checking. Anything else showing up on the map? Maybe one of them has one. Code to send the build. Nope. Anybody up here maybe have? No. Okay. Hmm. I guess I need to find that doll somewhere or it's still in the code development department okay well i'm not sure i care that much other than the beard does seem kind of hilarious so we are going to put that on somebody the question is who hmm we still never used relax because it seems too slow to really matter and i think i'm pretty happy with all my other gear however if i did change out the lightning rod We could try that. Platinus with a fake beard. Honestly, it could work on Platinus. It could. Well, dear viewer, that feels like enough for one episode so far. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Tim Tim. And I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.